Hello, this is Loopline, and in this video I want to talk about grabbing emails. So I have an older video that talks about how you can grab emails from each one of the URLs loaded. Pretty basic to grab emails from URL list, and you can watch that if you like. Um, you can grab emails from a local list also in that video, which is if I want to grab emails from a file. But the option that was added in version 2.0 was grabbing emails by crawling a site. So at first it was added where you could just put in one site and set a level that you wanted it to crawl through the site up to, I think it was four um, levels deep, and then you could crawl through the site and grab emails from that. Now they have the option to use harvested URL list, and what that does is it will take each one of these pages here and then crawl through that site up to X levels deep, whatever you set here, um, and check for emails on all the pages that it finds on that site during the crawling. Now bear in mind if you use this and set it to several levels deep and load in a big site then not only are you going to want to use proxies because you're hammering away several connections on one domain at once, um, you also are going to have a long process here because it has to crawl through those pages. And by crawl I mean it's going to take this Web Webopedia site and it's going to load that URL and then it's going to if it level two will be when it looks at all the internal URLs that that links to, and then level three will be when it looks at all the internal URLs that those pages link to, and it will crawl all those pages and look for emails on them. Now, the actual grabbing of emails is the same in this function as well as in the uh, function where it just grabs the emails here from the list, but this only grabs from the list here, whereas this grabs from the option of crawling several levels deep. If I set this to one, it's the same as using the other function. But I'm going to set it to three here, for example. And we can look at our options, which is save URLs with the email. Pretty nice. We can skip subdomains. We have a filter, which is basically a blacklist and a whitelist. And then we have an export option when we're done. So I'm just going to go ahead and fire it up here. And you can see it running through here, where it grabs the first site and then it starts crawling those internal URLs and then it goes active threads here. You can see I have it set to 10. Um, you also want to bear in mind that right now I'm using 10 threads all on this one site. If I happen to come across a site that might be on like a $5 hosting plan and I set this to 200 connections, it's probably going to take the whole site down because the server can't even handle that much load, even if I have 200 proxies to use with that. So you have to be judicious when you use this because it goes through one site at a time. Now you can see as we go here level what level it's on, the number of URLs it has crawled, and the unique emails that it has saved, and then it'll give us an email saved as here later, um, and then it'll keep going until it gets to the next site, which is going to be, you know, just the next one down in the list, the Cloud Security Alliance here. So basically, it'll just keep going and going and going, but you can see off of the very first URL, we're already up to almost 800 URLs there that it is crawling through, and that's only from three levels deep. If I were to set this to like 10, um, this could just run all day, assuming if it was a big site. So just bear in mind that it could take a really long time when you do that. So when I stop, I can see the emails here, the file, if I click it, it opens it up, and I can see the actual emails grabbed along with the URL that it came from. And then also I have the option to export here and just save it to whatever I want to save it to. Um, and that sort of thing, which is the same thing as this. So that is the grabbing emails by crawling sites. Obviously, if I wanted to punch in business names and a location, so like if I wanted to do, you know, I don't know, um, hosting providers, that's probably terrible. Let's do something like car insurance. Say you're selling products for car insurance and you're selling them in Los Angeles, California. So you could do that, um, or you could do you know, whatever. If you punch in a city and a state, you're going to get local results if you're doing the U.S. or whatever country you're doing. Obviously, you could do zip codes, that sort of thing, and use the merge function there to really tie in uh, a lot of that functionality. Um, I have a prior video which talks about um, grabbing emails using the Google Maps engine. Unfortunately, Google removed the URLs from the Maps results for the no JavaScript option, so that engine had to be removed as it simply doesn't work because Google simply turned it off for no JavaScript. So the concept is the same, though. I'll link to that video. You could watch it for the ideas on how you can get different ideas on scraping emails, but the grab emails by crawling sites function is extremely handy and allow you to crawl through a list of sites 
and scrape them for emails and really save yourself a lot of time from using the link extractor in prior versions where you have to extract the internal pages and then go through it. Now you can just do a one-stop shop. So that is grabbing emails by crawling sites using Scrapebox. Thanks for watching this Scrapebox video. For more Scrapebox videos, click the subscribe button on your screen or click the subscribe button down below.